and yeah, last year, this is sort of where the whole season's been focused for, right? I mean, now you're here. Yeah, I mean, we never talk about it during the season, but, um, you know, when you get here, you realize that every moment we spent kind of training, practicing, and playing games, it was to set us up for um, another chance in the semifinal game. So it's good to be back and know that we have that opportunity. With as dominant of a program as, as you guys are, you come in here now with a different attitude, maybe relishing a little more after experiencing what happened a year ago? Um, yeah, I mean, I think the biggest thing is just understanding when it's time to focus on basketball, it's time to focus on basketball. There's no overlapping. Yes, we're going to have a lot of fun. Yes, the Final Four is an amazing experience, but when it's time to practice, we got to be ready to go and really focused because we want to be ready for the game on Friday. In terms of on the court, though, I mean, do you, do you, do you focus more no, coming off that loss from, from a year ago? From a year ago no one knew that yet. Yeah, I mean, you know, we spent the season kind of setting ourselves up to get another chance at this game, and um, it's different because we're not playing the same team. It's clearly a whole different uh, mindset that we have to have going in this game, a whole different scout. So uh, there's some similarities, but it's a lot different, and I think just maturity-wise, we have to be ready to go and just be focused for the game. Do you feel like you are more mature as a team and able to handle this situation? I think so. I think you know a lot of us have had experience here, and um, it's enough of us to kind of control um, and show to the younger guys what we're supposed to do and what we need to do because clearly we didn't do a good enough job last year, and there was a lot of distractions that kind of had us um, just bothered us before the games, and you know you can't blame a loss specifically on the things that happened during that. It's things that led up to it. So we want to be focused and just make sure we set ourselves up for the best opportunity. Is this the best rivalry in women's basketball? Um, I don't know, is it? I feel like that's up to the outside people to decide, I think. Um, you know, the players, we're only here for a short amount of time, and, um, you know, Notre Dame and UConn have been playing for a long time, so I don't know. You get to play in a lot of big games, but is this a team that you get excited to play for than maybe someone else? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think um, the team, yes, we get excited for, but I think just being in the Final Four is excitement enough to, you know, motivate a team, no matter who you're playing, that you have to be ready to go. And um, whether we're playing Notre Dame or anyone else, it's got to be the same type of focus and readiness. What's the last couple of days been like for you as far as activities and things that keeping you guys busy? It's been fun, yeah. It's been a lot of fun. We've gotten to do a lot of opportunities that um, most – players don't even get a chance to experience so as a um, kid growing up this is what you dream of doing and um, just being here you get to enjoy the little moments but like I said before when it's time to get on the court and focus we got to shut everything out and really be ready to go. One of the few teams that have played you guys tough mm -hmm. uh, what does that do what's the mentality going in knowing how the familiarity between you guys yeah I mean it's a they're a team that really thinks they can beat us and that's one of, that's half the battle for some people and um, when you have that um, mindset it's just that much more competitive and that's why they give us um, the trouble they do is we just have to be ready to go and um, you know everyone should go into the game with that mentality and when they do that they really come in hard and um, we have to be ready to throw the first punch not them you know in the middle two quarters that didn't quite go well that you need to fix I mean, when we watch home and everything, we'll definitely look at the things we um, didn't do wrong or could have done better. But um, when you think about it and you think about now, we're, we all feel like we're a completely different team. And I'm sure they feel the exact same way, too. So just knowing that, um, you know, we made mistakes and we, we want to watch those and learn from those and what they did. But um, we want to know that we can be a different team now and we can, we can clean all those things up. But, yeah, like you said, the way we played in that fourth quarter really just that gives you motivation and confidence that no matter what happens, we'll be able to, um, you know, at least give ourselves a chance. We talk a lot about you playing against your former um, USA teammates, and of course, you played with Enrique like about 20 or 30 yeah. times, I think. Yeah. What about her do you like about her game? What about her do you like about her as a, as a person? Or just your, you know, any kind of um, relationship? Yeah, that she's I mean, had. As, as a person, she's great. She's probably one of the funniest people I've ever met. She's so outgoing and just has that personality that you kind of gravitate towards. And, you know, as a player, um, I've seen her kind of grow from when we were 15, 16 years old to what we're doing now. And um, she's really developed her offensive game and, uh, in ways that it's really hard to stop her. And I think that's one of the, the keys for us is that, you know, she's going to get shots up. She's going to be able to get her shot up. But it's just limiting 
you know, how difficult we can make it for her. And um, she does a pretty good job at always being able to create, even if it is difficult. You have Enrique, you have Asia, yourself and Tisha, you USA Basketball, since you're a teacher of six years old. How much does that benefit you now when you get to the college? Do you think it gives you an advantage? Or you just have been exposed to a lot of different coaches and, and playing against the top players? Yeah, I think so. I think, I think it just... Um, Kind of gives you that confidence and um, just gives you more experience as a player. You know, some people don't get that opportunity, and being able to play against um, you know other national players on different teams and um, players that have been growing up playing basketball and um, just the competition level when you're younger and you play that is so much higher than what you play in like high school or in club as well. And um, so it does give you that experience and confidence going into um, college level and everything like that. UConn posted a photo of you with a book cracked open in your knapsack. Can you talk a little bit about you know keeping up and having some time for schoolwork this time of year? How hard is it to manage all your time? Yeah, it's really hard because you know we basically left right from the last game to here, and so that means you're missing a full week of school after already missing some the week before. So um, it's definitely difficult, but um, just making sure you're on top of it and doing things beforehand is really crucial because you know it was definitely harder my freshman year when I would leave stuff and have to do it while I was at the Final Four, and so now I tried to get ahead of everything and do it um, early on. But just being able to have that dis discipline is the hardest part, and being able to understand that you got to get things done, or else it'll actually get in the way of you playing basketball and you being able to compete at the Final Four.